Here is how to embed audio comments into your students' papers using Office 2007 and Windows XP. This is an enormously powerful tool for teaching and for learning. We are working on a Fujitsu laptop within Windows XP Professional. First, we select the document that we wish to review. And, as you see, we are opening it in Microsoft Word 2007. At any point in the document, it's possible to insert audio comments, and it's quite simple. First, put the cursor at the location in the document where you want the player to occur. Next, you have to insert an audio object. So, we select the Insert tab, and then Microsoft doesn't make this easy. We go to this unlabeled button, which gives us a chance to insert an object. From the drop-down list, we scroll down all the way to the bottom and select Wave Sound. We also choose to display it as an icon. Click OK, and what that gets us is the sound recorder that's built into Windows XP. And here, it's quite simple. Just take it as it is presented, click on Record, and you're ready to start talking. Everything that you say is being recorded as a WAV format audio clip. And what you need to know about the WAV format is it's very large, and the recording that will be produced in this format is not really suitable for sending to a student. Notice also that we are limited to 60 seconds, but if we click earlier in the timeline, it will skip back and give us additional time. When we're done, click Stop. Now our recording is complete, but we're not ready to send it to the student yet because it's in the WAV format. So we go to the File menu, select Properties, and now notice that we are presented with a large file, and we have a chance to convert it. And you just use the stock settings, the stock format that's built in, click on Convert, and then again, just use the format that they are giving us, and notice that we are making this into a very small file. Click OK, and the conversion is made almost instantly. Then click OK, and what we now have is an icon in the document that indicates the wave sound. We close the recorder and save the document. At that point, we are finished with our work, and we're able to close the document. Now let's take a look at the document that we've just saved and get an idea of just what the student sees. You'll notice that he or she opens the document and sees the icon right in it. He or she is then able to double click on the icon. Port, and you're ready to start talking. Everything that you say is being recorded as a WAVE format audio clip. So, you see that the result is the student can hear everything that you just said in response to his or her document. And the possibilities here are wonderful. It's possible to engage a student in a conversation that really isn't feasible in writing. And my experience has been that students find my tone of voice to be as important really as the content of what I'm communicating. It's really a very interesting and a very powerful teaching tool.